So today I have for you a meatloaf, more of a flat meatloaf. Um, I guess I'm gonna call this like Middle Eastern style. Only my aunt who was Middle Eastern used to make this recipe. But basically it's just a ground beef mixed with some spices and topped with some tomatoes and potatoes. Uh, so enjoy this recipe and come with me and see how I make it. So for this recipe, we're gonna need some ground beef, variety of spices here. Uh, here I have total seasoning spice, which I actually really love. It's very versatile. We have garlic powder, some allspice, turmeric, salt, and pepper. We're gonna need an onion, potatoes, and tomatoes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is chop up this onion. I'm gonna dice it pretty finely. I'm gonna make sure to dice it pretty finely. Not using the best knife here. Hopefully you have a sharper knife than I do. I should to invest in better knives. But you know, good quality knives are so darn expensive. If any knife companies want to sponsor this video, I will not turn it down. <laughs> Add it to my ground beef. So I have uh, half, actually half a chopped onion in here. I saved the other half because I'll be topping my meat with the other half. Uh, now for the spices. Some salt. I'm going to add about a teaspoon, two teaspoons of salt. I'm going to add my turmeric. Again, about two teaspoons of turmeric. Add a teaspoon of allspice. This is this total seasoning. I really, really like this seasoning. This recipe is so versatile. You can add whatever spices you like. Spice it up, spice it down, however you like. Uh, there's really no right or wrong here um, to this. I'm also going to add garlic powder. And I'm going to add some pepper. So again, you know, you can really add whatever spices that you like to this mixture. Mix it all together. So all the spices and the onions all incorporate nicely together in here. Okay, so now my meat has all been incorporated with the onions and the spices. So now I have turned the mixture out into my sheet pan and I'm simply going to flatten out this meat to kind of cover. Now I have a really large cookie sheet here because you know I'm cooking for a large crowd. So um, you can adjust this to a 13 by nine uh, if that's gonna feed your family or even smaller if it's just for you. But for me, I am making large quantities. So this is a pretty big pan. This is a, all right, so this is like a, a 20 by 19 size pan. So it is a, not your standard size. Again, okay, what I love about this recipe is it's so versatile. You can add whatever spices you like. Um, it's kind of a nice, nice change from a you know, traditional hamburger or any other burger dish. Um, this will pair very well, by the way, with a baba vanouge dip that I made a video about. So feel free to go back and watch that video. I have flattened out the meat mixture. All right, next I'm going to grab my potatoes and my tomatoes. Okay, so now I have my tomatoes. You can use any tomato that you like. Um, I'm just using Roma tomatoes. That's what I have in the fridge. I'm gonna slice these up like so. Slice them up like so. That's not a Roma tomato, but that's okay. It's all the same. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to evenly distribute the tomatoes on my meat. That half onion that I didn't use earlier, I'm going to thinly slice that up as well. Take my onion, put that over the tomatoes. So it's looking really beautiful here. If there's any other veggies that you want to throw on top, why not throw that on top as well? Now I'm going to take my potatoes. I'm going to peel those up. I don't want to make them too thick because I don't want to take that long to cook, but about that size should be enough. Put those again as well on top of my meatloaf here. Okay, now this is ready to go in the oven. Look how beautiful that looks. I've got my layer of ground beef on the bottom, topped it with onions, potatoes, and tomatoes. Um, if you're trying to keep this low carb or keto, you certainly can omit the potatoes. 
right, we're gonna put this in the oven at about 400 degrees and we'll go check on it in about a half hour. All right, here my meat is cooking. Uh, now, since I did use a higher fat of beef, you're gonna see a lot of that fat coming off, cooking off. Um, if you use a lower fat meat, obviously you're not gonna have all this fat draining from the meat. So um, it's starting to cook very nicely. I'm gonna keep on letting it cooking now. Uh, probably another 25 minutes or so. All right. My meat, is, uh, meat pie is almost done here. A lot of fat has come off of it, but I'm gonna end up draining all that anyways. Uh, I have put my oven on broil so the potatoes can brown up a bit, uh, but coming along very nicely, it's almost done. All right, guys, here we go. My meat pie, my meatloaf is all done. Um, I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes to absorb some of the juices. It has browned up very nicely. Uh, I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes and then I'm going to cut it up into squares. All right guys, enjoy this dish and I will catch you next time.